Greetings, welcome to 1804 Motion Picture Long Films and uh, uh, his stuff is really good, you know, please check his channel, um, I'll put the link in the description and, and subscribe, he has pretty good stuff and um, he's uh, up there in uh, Louisiana and I am in the back room of South Florida. So, uh, the, the main purpose of this um, tutorial is uh, how to export, how to have a better export for, um, well, let's see that thing, is it going to work? Uh, oh, yep, it's going to work, alright. Actually, that's an RS that, you know, they made when I was shooting a music video and then those guys came in there, they messed up my business. Try to be careful, you know, man. And then that's the fellow, and they didn't see him. He just slipped by, and he's gone. Uh, that's actually one of those Hebrew Israelites that was over there, and then he was filming. So they arrested everyone. And get that out of the way. Um, uh, that's actually one of the little kid, and they get that girl over there. Um, uh, they were very young though. Um, the, the the age was probably between um, 16 to 19. Um, they arrested them right there in Lauder Hill. Uh, it was very smooth. Uh, I was actually very surprised that, that a stolen it, car? you know they were in this car. So apparently the car was somewhat stolen according to secondary source. And um, you know I was out there and filming. You know making that music video and those cops came in and uh let me tell you man those guys don't play man down there in florida they do not play when i say do not play you know they will drop your ass in any second you know they see you with a camera oh wait so no. ah, damn it what the hell all right let me leave it here okay now let's jump to the tutorial now how did i get that crisp um clean and you can see there's no ad effects and um you know it's it's pretty clean so um you can see the car is very red that's well that's the color that's the color correction so um uh let me show you how i export my video that's my preferences you know you can see there's no artifacts and everything is clear and hd um i have a Canon T3i, by the way, it's a 600D. That's how I do my music videos. All right, let's jump this. Enough talk. So, um, now there are different ways you can do this, and um, this is how I do it. Um, every time you export something on YouTube, and you got a lot of artifacts, I mean, it looks something like this. Let me. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to show. All right. Oh, that's my SoundCloud thing. Oh, if you need free beats. You can go to SoundCloud and get 1804 motion pictures and then that beat that's playing in the background right now, the name is um, Creamy um, creamy Stuff, so, you know, Creamy Thing. So if you want that beat, just go ahead and like my page. On Just go ahead and click the like button and then, uh, you know, like my page, 1804 motion pictures and you download the music, you know, the, the, the beats for free. Now, let's jump to the tutorial. Now, you want to uh, export this. There are many ways uh, you can go and do what my, my export is this um, file, ex what? Click this. file export media okay now you know you can just make a pre-rendering right there and then it show you now make sure avi it's not selected if you do this you're gonna have two big black bars over here um you're gonna have one there and one here that's what avi does you don't want this um uh, uh export um format so you either the best way I used to do it is H2 H.264 or simply as known as H264, and then it's going to change. You see how the, the, the image become wider. And um the, the problem is when you do um AVI, um the image become mm, much more narrower so you see when you are shooting a, a um a video with a cell phone and you hold the cell phone 
vertically and you're going to have those two big black bars you know uh, um, on the on the video that's why when you watch the video online you always see those two big black bars you're always like oh what the hell but those are the AVR AVI um, setting but once you hold the phone horizontally you're gonna have to you're gonna have a H um, 264 format which is widescreen that's why when you watch TV your TV is not always uh, your TV is not always vertical it's always horizontal that's how the human eye see we always see things horizontally not vertical so that's why we choose H well I assume the H stand for reason too but it's not uh, it's something else I'm not going to go into that so the preset we led it to a matching source um, <clears throat> now you got to be very careful because when you go to matching source you just you know if you uncheck the matching source and uh, this is 1920 by 1080 that's um was recorded on my t3i with 24 frames per second and that's how you should leave it so if it was like 60 frames per second it would have say 1080 by 720 uh, which i will get that i will get in that later so you know and you check this uh let's rename that i'm gonna rename this um Oh, no, no, that's, that's not going to be good. I'm going to rename this Arrestation. I don't know if this is an English word because I speak French. Arrestation. Arrestation de Noir. Dans une supermarket. That's French for you. Va le faire foutre. That means good morning. Um, yeah, so uh, you go down there. Um, you left this, you know, you rename it and make sure you, you put it somewhere you can find it, um, you know. Um, you don't want to really mess with those things, but since my footage was taken with um, 24 frames per second, you know, I don't usually uh, change, uh, uh, I don't usually um, switch to 24 frames per second, I always choose 23.976. Um, since we did not record on a eight um a film HDV, um, we choose progressive. We don't need no pull up, no pull down, so we we leave it at progressive. And then the aspect ratio, um, it's one point pixel. So we don't have DVs. Those are for DVs and HD anamorphic or uh, metamorphic or metamorphic or whatever you wanna do. Um, and uh, I usually let the bit rate 15 to 16,000 in this case we don't want this we just want the original thing I mean and then you click Q well in French is Q which is mean in line let's put this in line Q Q I we're not gonna click export I got another plugin that coming with um poor CC we click uh, Q right there Q and then uh, it's going to export the data to another thing. In the meantime, let's watch something funny on YouTube. There's always something funny in there. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hi! oh, okay. It's Pablo. But they have that. Once you have this, you click. Um, well, it looks like a play. It's supposed to be a render button. So you can actually see the the rendering time in real life. In real time, sorry. You can see it in real time right here. So I'm just going to call it speed up to the front. You know, when you know, things get, you know, uh, uh, render. Okay. And uh, what the hell? No, thank you. See everything is like the way it was in the careful, man. The mirror effects, if you want the mirror effects, you know, all that. You know, this effects called the threshold effects. You want that, let me know. I will do it. Yeah. The flash. The glowing. Alright, well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching.